a uh, kind of in the middle of practice, unfortunately, yeah. that Ohio State made a coaching change. With what happened today, and now you know Wisconsin's offensive line coach leaving two weeks ago to Virginia Tech. Yep. What does it teach you about the business of college football? Exactly what you just said. It's a business, you know. Um, and like I uh, said to myself, said to my family, um, I'm not committed to a coach. I'm committed to the people. I'm committed to the culture. Um, I'm committed to the best fans in the land, Columbus. Um, I'm excited to get to work there. Um, not only for. Uh, one coach. I'm not doing this for one coach. You know, I'm doing it for myself, and my family included, and obviously I have a bigger family down there. Um, so I'm excited to get to work for them. Um, I mean, it's like you said, anything could happen. But um, when I, I'm a man of my word, and I'm gonna keep that promise for you know as long as I can. You know, you're here with George and Tegra. I mean, obviously you haven't talked to Tegra about this yet, but how important is it for you to just have these guys here to kind of deal with this with you? Um, it's good. You know. Um, you know, I, I guess, you know, misery loves company a little bit, but we're really not miserable at all because we all have the same mindset. I mean, even talking with, like, Keon um, and, like, Devin, you know, uh, we're all in for the culture. We're all in for the people. Uh, we're all in for, like, I'm going to keep on saying, the best fans of the land, um, and that's what we're going to go fight for. You know, at a place like Ohio State, I guess part of what you said, you committed there because of the, the history, the culture, the program. You know they're going to find a, a good coach, right? Exactly. I mean, that's Ohio State. That's what they do. When you talk to Ryan Day this afternoon, which I'm sure he's probably yep. already texted someone in your family, yep. you know, what is it you need to hear from him or want to hear from him about their plan moving forward? Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I'm just looking to hear from him that uh, you know, we're going to be good, you know, uh, no matter what. I mean, committing there, uh, personally, I don't really need to hear a whole lot from him because like I said, uh, I committed to uh, Ohio State Buckeyes, and if he's in head of the Ohio State Buckeyes, you know, if he tells me to go jump in a freezing lake, I'll do it. You know, that, that's kind of uh, how I'm going or in. Or any lake in Wisconsin. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <Same> At <laughs> this point. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, I'm 100% behind him and what his uh, uh, his plan is, and I have, uh, you know, you have to be. Uh, you have to have uh, full trust in that. Um, and that's one of the best ways I can deal with this situation I, uh, we're in right now. I mean, us and the three other guys. So, um, like I said, I'm excited to go work uh, with these guys, um, especially Devin. He's a, you see, he launched a 50 yard bomb. It's nuts. I mean, I'm from a school that runs triple options. So, that's like <laughs> watching a spacecraft take off for the first time. <laughs> but so, like, uh, no, I'm excited to go play for these boys and excited to go win a big, big fat gold trophy in our case. Um, I'm guessing there wasn't much conversation about this possibly happening the last few weeks, or, or was, I mean, had you heard anything that this was was possible, uh, Coach Stud leaving, or? or no, you know, so I, I, I just, you just kind of told me, I mean, uh, that, you know, we're ready to uh, get to work, me and you, and I was like, all right, cool, you know, I'm excited, but like you said, you know, it's a business, uh, you, can't, you can't go into that mindset that I'm here for this one coach. Um, obviously, coach is important because you know those are the guys you're probably gonna see every day. But I feel like that culture really stems from the people there, uh, not the one or one or two coaches there. And I'm excited to get to uh, you know experience that. And obviously, they uh, they haven't switched too many coaches. So I mean, I feel like it really starts in the weight room what they got there. And coach, uh, coach Mick is an absolutely phenomenal coach, along with all the rest of his strength and conditioning staff. So I feel like that really is what makes the heart of the program there. Um, it's how they can develop guys. So that's what I'm really excited to go down and see. Um, you know, looked like you had some words of encouragement there. Like the like Keon, I think it looked like Hayden Curry even came up to you. Yeah. Like, just you, were they just kind of like supporting? Like, well, I don't. Well, how are those conversations? Look oh like? yeah, you know, you, you, they're just kind of talking about like you know, um, you know, we're gonna work through it. Or we're gonna get this done. And I mean, absolutely. I mean, uh, those are the kind of guys I love to be around. And I'm really, really excited to go down and play with them for them. Um, and like, I, like I keep on saying, we're gonna go win a national championship. So it's gonna be pretty cool to bring that home. Um, and yeah, no, those guys are awesome. I, I can't thank them enough, and I'm extremely blessed to be down here in the first part. To be, but to be down here with those guys, it's pretty phenomenal.